Welcome to Next Level Carpentry. I'm Master Carpenter Matt Jackson and I've got a quick pro tip for you today in this video. I'm most of the way through shooting the video for building full-size journeyman carpenter sawhorses and I'm at the point where I need to drill holes in the top of the legs to attach them to the top rail of the sawhorse and I want to do that quickly but accurately. So I'm going to show you the trick that I use for getting that done. The tip will be included in the full-length sawhorse build video but I broke it out here on the advice of my good friend Dan Thomas at the Newbie Woodworker. There's a link to Dan's channel here. He's a great guy and he knows how to build a YouTube channel. So I'm taking a bit of his advice here so that more people get a chance to see it and hopefully apply it to their woodworking projects. All you need for quickly and accurately marking holes on something like this is a piece of thin cardboard. It's like cereal box cardboard. I call it shoebox cardboard. Uh, an Olfa knife or a box cutter knife and a scratch all. Check it out. And if you're borderline OCD like I am, here's a quick little trick you can use for repetitive marking of holes that's accurate and fast. I'm just taking a thin piece of shoebox cardboard, could be called cereal box cardboard, and I cut a strip exactly the width of a leg. And on one end of it, add the angle from the end of the leg and then make the same marks we did on that example leg. I have a center and then 5 8 inch in from each edge. Coming down from the top, going a half inch and one inch. And then just simply take a sharp scratch all and put a hole at each of those center marks. So you can put your tape measure away and make accurate repetitive marks merely by repunching those holes on the top of each leg. Best thing about it, because there's left and right legs, the pattern is reversible as long as it's indexed off the same point on both legs. Just like that. And it's actually easier and more accurate to countersink these holes from a punch mark than a pencil mark. And you can take that tip and a $10 bill into Starbucks and they'll give you a free cup of coffee. Well, I hope you like that short tip and can see the benefit of using a piece of cardboard and a scratch all for quickly and repetitively marking screw placements accurately. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll ask that you'd consider subscribing to Next Level Carpentry if you haven't already. I'm excited to be finally getting these sawhorses built and want to thank viewers and subscribers for their patience. I'm going to press on and get these sawhorses put together because I've got a whole pile of white oak here for making some box beams and I got to get that project done. So I'll thank you for taking time to watch this video and hope you'll stay tuned for when the actual build video comes out. I've been talking about it long enough and it's time to deliver but it's crazy how life gets in the way and delays things even things that are high priority. So until next time thanks for watching.